S&F fully supports the draft recommendations document, particularly Article 69, 78, and 80 of, the item, of this item. I would like to draw your attention to the situations of ethnic minorities in Indonesia. As an archipelago, Indonesia consists of hundreds of different ethnic linguistic minorities. And it is well known that minorities in Indonesia, especially in some restive areas such as Aceh in Sumatra, West Papua, and South Malukas, are often collectively subjected to violence as a result of their distinct identities. Mr. Chairman, please allow me to share with you a brief account on the post-conflict situations of Aceh. Following a 30-year armed conflict between the Free Aceh Movement and Indonesia, a ceasefire agreement called MOU was reached in 2005 in Helsinki. One of the provisions in the agreement is the establishment of the Human Rights Court. This right body should have been set up at the latest one year after the law on governing Aceh has been effective. To date, after eight long years, this crucial issue is almost forgotten. With regard to past human rights violations, not a single perpetrator has been brought to justice, and the new government of Indonesia has already indicated that probing into the past abuses is not a priority. Mr. Chairman, the current political atmosphere in Aceh now is running high. This is due to the lack of political will by both the central and local governments in addressing impunity. In if, and if this situation persists, we are afraid that another conflict will flare up again soon. In order to avoid the occurrence of violence, and in line with the above-mentioned draft recommendations, ASNLF would like to urge the parties to fulfill their obligation to ensure truth, justice, and full reparation for the human rights violations and abuses. Call on the United Nations and international community to support recourse to the ICC when states such as Indonesia are obviously unwilling or unable to prosecute the perpetrators of atrocity crimes against minorities. Urge the government of Indonesia to fully adhere to the UN General Assembly Resolution 47-135 as the legal basis for this discussion, and to ensure respect for freedom of expression, including the right to self-determination of minorities. Thank you for your attention.